Okay, we got the Peltier cooler versus the dorm fridge. Dorm fridge here is 3.1 cubic feet. This little guy here is just a fraction of a cubic foot. And we we're running this until we got the other one moved from a different place. They both been running 488 hours. The Peltier cooler here 17.43 kilowatts and it runs all the time see it says 36 watts it's on the entire time there's no control on that and that's running through the wall ward here that's connected up to it whereas the air, regular uh, refrigerator here right now it's running 100 watts 204 volt amperes because it's on but it cycles you got 20.6 kilowatt hours 17.43 so this is actually slightly more efficient than this other unit but it has just a fraction of the capacity so it's actually pretty hokey this unit here's got refrigerator Freezer and then a refrigerator here. It's built, I want to say, oh, probably about 40 years ago. 335 kilowatt hours per year. 3.1 cubic feet. It's probably not Energy Star efficient anymore. 2007. I think I bought this in 2008. That's one. Got that temporary one, one at the house croaked. Got one at the house that has the same number of kilowatt hours. I want to say it's a 15 or 18 cubic foot. That's a 3.1. And they have some now, I think, at Home Depot that are down to 220 or something. But this Peltier cooler on here, I was running uh, just for a while. It's normally you run it on 12 volts or something. And with the wall ward here that connects it up, it's actually pretty inefficient. It just runs all the time. Now it might be that this rubber seal on here, it seems to, it's got a compression set on that. 